Hey guys, in this video of the design system, we are going to be talking about color styles. And basically for the color styles, uh, we need to generate some basic colors that we usually use throughout, let's say different projects, irrespective of the size of the project. Um, so let's just go ahead and do that. And for now, I'm just gonna generate, or let's say choose the colors in front of you without let's say any theory or anything along those lines. If you definitely wanna get into the theory of generating a color theme, then that's definitely a separate video. But here, basically, I'm just gonna teach you how to go ahead and uh, generate your color styles, generate different shades of those, create styles, and basically organize them in the design system. So the basic color styles that you need for a design system are is the primary color, obviously. Uh, you need the primary color, and sometimes, obviously, the client provides the branding colors to you, and those can obviously be mapped to the primary and secondary colors, or you can choose a color of your own if you're basically starting out on a project. So we need the primary color, the secondary color, the success colors, warning, danger, black and white, obviously, because we use black and white for a lot of different things. Uh, but we're still going to generate the styles for them because we don't want to enter the hex values or the RGB values uh, to choose them. And then we need to have some neutral shades of grays for, let's say, for example, let's say borders or slightly grayed out text, so on and so forth. So in order to choose a particular color, well, first of all, I'm just going to go ahead and I'm just going to create this swatch and I'm going to choose a color that I'm going to use. So I, I just want a color that's really bright, really vivid for our primary color. So maybe let's just go ahead and experiment with something. So let's say, for instance, I'm going to go with this particular color and this is going to be our primary color, right? Or maybe it should even be more vivid. So let's just choose this primary color. And then now let's do the same for our secondary color. Maybe for the secondary color, I wanna go in the same shade and maybe this one, actually this one looks good. So again, as you can see, I did not change anything. I just changed the hue and you can change the hue just by scrolling up and down on your mouse scroll wheel. That way saturation and brightness stays the same, but then you're changing just the hue. So now that I've done that for the primary and secondary colors, let's just go ahead and do the same for, I don't know, maybe, let's just go ahead and actually create an auto layout for these as well. So this color, this color, and let's just drag this one as well within them. So this is our primary, secondary, and let's just choose the success color. For the success color, I'm also gonna try to stick to this set to just change the hue, but the set, the success color looks very bright, so I'm just gonna dull it down a bit. So maybe something like this, so this is gonna be our success, and then let's say for the warning, we're obviously gonna have an orange dish or a brownish sort of a shade. Let's just go ahead and actually keep it similar to what we had, but, not, but, but slightly different. So this is gonna be our warning. Then we have the danger, which is obviously gonna be red uh sharp red so let's just keep it at that and then for the black and whites obviously we don't we can also go ahead and just create them so this is going to be black this is going to be white and then maybe for the last one i'm just going to add a neutral color and for the neutral color what we want to do is we want to pick our body color right and I would recommend not using black for the body color and sticking with a shade of your primary color. So this is our primary color and I'm just gonna go down on this color wheel and just choose a, a slight variation of black that has a tint of our primary color. So let's just go ahead and with, go ahead with that. So now I'm gonna generate our styles and for the black and white, I can just say, okay, these are gonna be our black. This is gonna be our, so, this is going to be our black, sorry, not black, this is white. So this is going to be, this one is going to be black. Now I had the white generated, so I'm just going to go ahead and rename that to white. And this is going to be our body color. And let's just go ahead and name that to body. So we, we have these body black and white colors created. I'm just going to keep the body at the top and the white in the middle because the body and the white are very, rare, very frequently used. And I can also group them. I can say these are going to be our default colors which uh, can be in a default folder and then let's just go ahead and generate some of the shades for our let's say different colors now i am going to go ahead and i'm basically going to delete this primary secondary thing that i've written and i'm going to go to my uh, colors here and now we can delete this body we can delete white and black and now we want to generate some shades for these colors right so in order to generate shades you can obviously do them yourself like for example just copying them going here going to let's say 
the HSL or HSP and choosing, let's say, uh, a slighter, slightly lighter shade and maybe changing the hue a bit, so on and so forth. But that's a lot of complication for someone who's starting out. So I would recommend following the Giants. And by Giants, I mean going to the plugin foundation color generator. And you can basically access that in the browse plugins in the community. You can search for, let's say, foundation. And as you can see in the plugins, we're going to have this, this particular plugin and you need to install that. So now that that is installed, you go and you choose the foundation color generator and you have different profiles of different organizations and their design systems of Orbit, Atlassian, Material and Design. I would recommend sticking with Material or Atlassian. So I'm going to stick in this video with Atlassian and I'm going to say this is going to be our primary color. We're going to go ahead and pick the color from here. Uh, there was a slight difference there and I'm going to say the tones can obviously be neutral or they can be, let's say, color. And I'm obviously going to choose the color because I want to generate it for that particular color. Now I'm going to say that I want to create the styles. And once I click on create styles, as you can see, the primary color styles or shades are already created. And I, I can also click on the palette. And as you can see, we also have the palette created now. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to say both these, this whole auto layout is going to be hug contents. And I'm going to say that this padding on the top and everything is just going to be zero. So let's just go ahead and actually, well, before even doing that, let's just go ahead and bring our colors, all of our colors, duplicate them here so we can see what we're generating. And let's just go ahead and generate our secondary color as well. So this is going to be our secondary color. I'm going to say this is going to be this one. And I'm going to say, let's just go ahead and create our styles for this. And now the styles are obviously created here, which obviously I can't see for some reason. So I'm just going to go ahead and delete them. And I'm going to say create styles again. Now I can see them. And now I can say the palette. Click on the palette. And now we basically have the secondary palette created as well. And I can just move it here. Obviously make it hug content and then let's just go to our next color so now this is going to be our success color let's just go ahead and do the same thing about that pick it create styles and then click on palette so here we have our palette created i'm going to say hug content to both of them and remove the padding so now i have this created let's just go ahead and do the same thing for our warning and only two left so warning and then create styles styles should be created here as you can see and then create the palette and for the palette I'm going to do the same thing again and basically just drag it to the right and now let's do it for our danger color and or you can also call it red whatever you want you can basically call it and then create styles and then click on palette padding zero and then hug content you can do it either way so now that we have all of these created, I'm basically going to go ahead and move them into an auto layout. Just give a 32 pixel spacing in between them because I really like to stick with, let's say, the four pixel grid. Now I'm going to remove the colors that I previously had. I'm going to go to my frame that's inside here and I'm basically going to go ahead and drag it. Now, as you can see, I created this frame for or this header for just for the design systems to see, for example, how everything looks or organize it in a better way. And the padding on the left and the top is like about like 100. So I'm going to basically create, change this body to 100 as well. So I'm going to say the padding here is going to be 100. And this actually is going to be fixed to this particular size, which is 1440. And any other colors that basically are here, I'm going to say that these colors, instead of let's say being and on the same row are going to be on a separate row. There's going to be 100 pixel spacing in between them. And now I'm going to start, let's say, removing some of the colors. So I'm going to say the warning and the danger are going to be on its own row. Now I have all of these colors created. I think that's for, that's for the most part what our color styles are going to look like. But we also obviously need to generate the body styles. So, or the neutral styles, right? So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to say this is going to be our black or obviously we don't want to call it black. We want to say our body style. And let's just go ahead and actually change. I don't want, I particularly don't want this foundation uh, folder. So I'm going to go ahead and remove that. Here we have our default styles. I'm going to say the body is going to be at the top, white in the middle. 
and let, and this is our body style. So I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna go to my color generator again, I'm gonna go to Atlassian, gonna go to the neutrals color, and as you can see, we have the neutrals already generated here. We can use those, or we can say that I wanna pick this particular color and generate neutrals from that. And now those neutrals are generated, and I can say create styles. Now those styles are created, obviously these ones are a bit uh, more like 19 styles have been created for that and I can say palette and as you can see we have the palette created here Hug content both ways and then padding zero So now that we have that done we can basically go ahead and include it here So sorry, I actually named it blue which is obviously something that I did wrong So I want to go ahead and revert my change remove these uh, colors and just do it again so I'm gonna go ahead again on the Atlassian thing so I'm gonna go on Atlassian I'm gonna go on neutrals I can decide to go on neutrals or I can just pick the color here and as you can see we have some of the neutral colors already generated for this but I don't think we probably need to do that like we can probably have something like this or we can also choose something else right we can choose material design to our uh, to generate our neutrals here or choose any other system to generate our neutrals here as well though i would prefer if you stick with one because obviously the naming convention changes so i'm going to say this is going to be neutral our neutrals and going to go to the neutrals pick this particular color and then say create styles and the styles are created and i'm going to say palette so here we have our neutrals palette i'm going to remove the padding and remove the and uh, adjust the auto layout and then basically place them here so i think for the most part we have our i'm gonna make make it a hug content here as well so we can see everything so i think for the most part we have this created and one thing that you can do is as you're designing let's say the website or anything along those lines you can start removing the colors that you think aren't necessarily needed right so you don't have to go ahead and do that again and again or keep all of the colors that are generated by this design system like once you get a hang of let's say all of the components that you've created and you recognize that you don't really use so many new neutrals you don't you rarely use so many let's say different shades of warnings or dangers or whatever it is start removing the things that you think aren't necessary for your project I wouldn't suggest removing them at this point because you don't know when you're actually going to need a particular shade of, let's say, any particular color. So go ahead, let's go together through the design system, see what things we're using and whatnot. And that is going to help you determine which things to remove at the end of the project. And that's going to be a subjective decision upon you. If you want to keep them, you can definitely keep them. If you want to remove them, then that's completely upon you. One thing, however, that's wrong in this plugin and which can be improved, so again, shout out to the creator who created this. If you actually look at this swatch, it's not using the color that basically it generated. It's using a hex value. So obviously, if I go ahead and change my color uh, here, it's not gonna be updated on the, sorry, let me just go ahead and actually bring the neutrals up. So if I update my, let's say, primary, a p50 color here it's not going to be reflected here because those color styles aren't linked so you actually have to go ahead manually and link those styles or one other thing that you can do with the power of figma plugins obviously is go to actually let's say your plugins and i'm going to go and browse my plugins and i'm going to say uh what was the plugin name let me just actually find out so yeah the plugin name was match fill or something along those lines so i'm just going to search for match fill and as you can see we have the match fills to local style thing so once you have that plugin downloaded you can basically go and say match fill to local styles and as you can see it's, it asks you please select the first the nodes that you want to link it so i can select this node and i can say match fill to local styles and as you can see it's now linked to p75 but obviously some of the other ones aren't linked so you can individually select the things that you want to link or quite easily you can just select the container and say match fill to local styles and as you can see 288 nodes in the selection have been linked so all of these things here even the grays all of all of the stuff has actually been linked and that's how you can go about and really quickly do all of these things so that's going to be pretty much it for this video do subscribe to hit the bell icon let me know if there's anything unclear in this video or you would like me to cover anything specific in the colors part of this design system and I can create a separate video for that or answer you in the comments. But that's going to be pretty much it. Take care. Bye.